Hello everybody. Welcome once again to the voice and visuals of AB, that is Amber, episode 28. Aapka swagat hai. Aur chali aad hum kuch zaika badalte hai. Let's do something different. Let's talk about, let's talk about, you know, the teaching of poetry. How interest for a particular poem has to be created, has to be generated in the students. And that is a very important issue. So for the first time, when a teacher reads aloud a poem, well, the children should not have opened their books, unki kitabe band rehni chahiye, aur saath saath jab wo padhe, to aisa padhe. Kavita ke theme, kavita ke ke bhav ke anusar padhe. Now, for example, this is a very very favorite poem of children, especially you know classes five, six, or for that matter. If it is read aloud in an interesting fashion, well, I feel, you know, it's an interesting poem for everyone. From children to adults. From a railway carriage by Robert Louis Stevenson. Now, obviously, from a railway carriage, which means that the train is moving. The train is moving. So there has to be a certain amount of speed a certain amount of rhythm. Tick, 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 tick. All right. Now, if I read this poem like this, and the children try to listen to it, well, they will lose interest. I'm sure. Faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses, hedges and ditches. Well, this could be, this sort of speed could be when the teacher reads this poem aloud and then he goes on explaining all right the difficult words and he goes on explaining the poem with the children following uh, the poem in their books the second kind of reading all right is okay but then when we are introducing the poem we want to create interest in the children और हमें बच्चों को हो बच्चे हो बुजुर्ग हो जवान हो उनका अपने प्रति अपनी ओर इस पोएम की ओर इस कविता की ओर उनका ध्यान आकर्षित करना है वी मस्ट अट्रैक्ट द अटेंशन तो हियर आई एम ऑलवेज रिमाइंडेड यस वी आर टीचिंग एन इंग्लिश पोएम बट देन वी आर टीचिंग देम टू इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स एंड देयर फॉर व्हाट बेस्ट as a model as a sample all right of a poem being read okay describing the movement of the train and all that the passengers can see from their railway carriages from their compartments outside what they are leaving behind so that has to be generated and what better example than harindranath chatrapadhyay's Rail gadi, chuk 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 chuk, and it was done so wonderfully by late Ashok Kumar ji. For me, as far as I'm concerned, there are only two superstars. Superstars means obviously longevity in our Bollywood films, longevity. And Amitabh Bachchan, yes, he is still very popular. He is still doing fantastic work. and ashok kumar ji also continued his wonderful work all right till he was you know in his 80s so he never faded away so for me the two the first superstar of hindi films was late ashok kumar ji and then it is mr amitabh bachchan so this rendition is dedicated to my granddaughter alia banerjee because it was our game when she was small 
you know, we used to play this game every day. The Rail Gardi game. So let's see this. If I read this poem like this, Ao bacho rail dikhaye, chuk chuk karti rail chalaye, siti dekar seat pe baitho, ek duje ki peet par baitho. Agar maine aise padha, is peet se padha, to kya sunne wale ka, bachon ka dhyan hum is kavita ki or akrisht kar sakenge? Kabhi nahi. Aye, ab hum log koshish karte hain. So here it is, dedicated to Alia. Aao bacho rail dikhaye, chuk chuk karti rail chalaye. Siti dekar seat pe baitho, ek duje ki peet pe baitho. Aage piche piche aage line se lekin koi na baage. Saare siddhi line me chalna, aakhe dono nichi rakhna. Banda kho se dekha jaye, aankh khuli to kuch na paaye. Aao bacho, rail chalaye. Suno re bacho, ticket katao. Tum log nahi aoge, to rail gaadi chhoot jayegi. Aao. Sab, line se khale ho jao. Alia, tum ho, injal. Babbu, tum ho, Koile ka dibba. Sonu, Monu, Leela, Sheela, Mohan, Sohan, Jadav, Madhav, Sab passenger, Sab passenger. Ek, Do. Re lagari, Re lagari. रेल गाड़ी चुप 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 बीच वाले स्टेशन बोले रुक 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 तला भरा लोहे की सड़क तला भरा लोहे की सड़क यहाँ से वहाँ वहाँ से यहाँ चुप 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 फुलाए छाती पार कर जाती बालू रेत आलू के खेत बाजरा धान बुढ़ा किसान हरा मैदान मंदिर मकान चाय की दुकान पुलपक डंडी टीले पे झंडी पानी का कुन पंछी का झुंड झोपड़ी झाड़ी खेती बाड़ी बादल धुआं मूठ कुआं कुएं के पीछे बाग बगीचे धोबी का घाट मंगल की हाथ टूटी दीवार टट्टू सवार गांव का मेला भीड़ जमेला टूटी दीवार टट्टू सवार रेल गाड़ी रेल गाड़ी चुक 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 बीच वाले स्टेशन बोले रुक 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 तला भरा लोहे की सड़क तला भरा लोहे की सड़क यहाँ से वहाँ वहाँ से यहाँ चुक 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 धर्मपुर करमपुर करमपुर धर्मपुर बैंगलोर मैंगलोर मैंगलोर बैंगलोर रायपुर जयपुर जयपुर रायपुर तालेगांव मालेगांव मालेगांव तालेगांव तालेगांव मालेगांव मालेगांव तालेगांव वेल्लोर नेल्लोर नेल्लोर वेल्लोर शोलापुर कोलापुर कोलापुर शोलापुर उत्कल डिंडीगल डिंडीगल उत्कल कोरेगांव 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 मेंदाबाद 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 बीच वाले स्टेशन बोले रुक 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 रेल गाड़ी रेल गाड़ी चुप 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 बीच वाले स्टेशन बोले रुक 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 तला धरा लोहे की सड़क तला धरा लोहे की सड़क यहाँ से वहाँ वहाँ से यहाँ यहाँ से वहाँ यहाँ से वहाँ वहाँ से यहाँ चुप 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 ना दिस देवर इस द टिपिकल इंडियन रेंडिशन ऑफ एन इंडियन पो but then it really attracts the attention of the listeners. And mind you, even adult listeners would actually um, enjoy the poem of late Harindranath Chattopadhyay, the brother of Sarojini Naidu. Uh, that poem was written by him. So now, if we just with a little bit of change the setting and we move over to England, and from a railway carriage by Robert Louis Stevenson. And if we read it like this, as I said, faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses, hedges and ditches. Well, as I said, second reading, when we are explaining that particular poem. But then the first reading, yes, has to be a little more speedy. So something like this. And you know, 
model it on uh, our Bachore Likhai. Faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses, hedges and ditches, and charging along like troops in the battle. All through the meadows, the horses and cattle. All of the sights of hill and plain fly as thick as the driving rain. And ever again in the wink of an eye, painted stations whistle by. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by himself and gathering brambles. Here is a tramp who stands and gazes. And there is a green for stringing the daisies. Here is a cart run away in the road, lumping along with man and load. And here is a mill and there is a river, each a glimpse and gone forever. Yeah, gone forever. Well, you have to give that feeling. So this, therefore, makes it a lot more interesting. So how a particular poem will be read out to the children the first time, that really is going to make a very important difference, just as wearing a double mask, maintaining physical distancing, whenever you go out, if you have to go out, will also make a difference to you, to others, and to the whole country, the whole humanity. Let's pray for all Indians, for the whole humanity, and the entire universe. Wear a double mask and maintain physical distancing. That's all from our Voice and Visuals of Umber, episode 28. Thank you.